up everybody? Welcome back to the Chronicles on YouTube. Today we are here at Art of Attack in Rancho Cucamonga. We are preparing for Super Lab Battle this weekend. And Amir's basically got a whole new car to deal with. Even though it's the same NSX, there's been a lot of changes to it. So we're gonna try to figure that out, get the car running, get the new lightweight NSX going. And uh, meanwhile, we have Type R Jose over here with his FK8. That car's getting prepped, that car's getting put together. Deleted 250 pounds off the car, so it should be a lot lighter. Should have new aero, new engine actually. So hopefully everything goes well for that car. And yeah, we're just trying to get a good weekend of racing out of this to make sure all the cars, all the cars make it without blowing up and everyone's safe. So I'm gonna walk you guys around, show you guys the latest updates and see how it goes. Hurry, give us a one minute rundown of everything that's new to the car. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> one minute? Okay. We chopped off the back of the car. Riley put all of this on. Made a new awesome turbo manifold. Titanium everything. We connected the intercooler directly to the compressor housing. Uh, titanium charge pipe. And then in the front, we basically did the same thing. Cut it all off. Relocated the sway bar from the bottom to the top. So that way we get an aerodynamic benefit for the future aero package. Uh, and we also made it like 400 pounds lighter. So. Holy shit. 40 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so 20 seconds to go. Yeah. Oh, we had Voltex flares, I guess. And, uh, uh, yeah. Unintended. Yeah. Voltex and then like flares. we also added uh, like 40 days of no sleep. That's the, my least favorite part. Yeah. Uh, Riley has been amazing, I will say. We also did a cool like slip fit with the bellow there with 321 stainless. So it's lighter. Oh. We still have long runners. I didn't good find power. It. We're going to put a G3900, add some power in the future. I'll oh, switch to a Garrett wastegate when they make the bigger one. And uh, we have a sod of sequential, which is gonna be the really cool thing that we're putting in. Mm -hmm. It uh, costs more than I bought the car for, <laughs> but uh, once that's in, we'll have like hydraulically paddle shifted, very cool stuff. Mm. Working with them pretty closely, they're awesome guys. Yeah. So I'm pretty excited for the weight and I'm very excited for the transmission. Uh, and then obviously the work Riley did, there's like the highlights. Yeah. And this is the first time I think I've had it's very little work to do on the car thanks to jay and christian i've taken care of a lot of the mm. wiring and they like they killed it they knocked everything out so. so so the trans isn't going in for this round no we mm. wanted to play it safe or I, I decided about a month ago to be like we're not going to do that let's just put the other one in since we know it works yeah and i'm glad we did since mm. you know i should technically be there tomorrow and i'm not going to be Some time crunch, uh, yes. yeah otherwise we wouldn't be there so but we'll put it in after finals and then start the development for coda mm. yeah for super lap battle that's when we want to go fast so for finals tomorrow or this weekend the goal is just to show up and get some testing data we have very realistic expectations yeah, yeah. let's see how the turbo is routed on this side it's crazy is it even an NSX anymore? Coming down to the wire. And I don't know what I'm doing. Surprisingly, still pretty early. But yeah, I know. But with tuning and everything tomorrow, yeah. It's kind of I strange. know. It's 11 o'clock now. And we've been going home fairly reasonably. Yeah. So yeah, because like, sometimes you guys will be home before I'm even home. Yeah, it's, so it's like, yeah, it's like we try to leave at one or two. Yeah. Because, like, we've gotten to the age where we realize from all the past events and mistakes that staying up till four, five, six really doesn't set you up for no. uh, success for the next day. Yeah, you're just frying your brain. Yeah, and the next day is just even worse. So, trying to stay more efficient nowadays. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It'll happen. It'll happen. Something will happen. I don't know what, but something will fucking happen. <laughs>
designing a wing upright for Jose's car because oh, yes. uh, we got a wing finished just in time. So I'm making the CAD file for it right now and then we're going to CNC it and get the wing mounted in the next hour, hopefully. I didn't so. even know you had like a tiny CNC machine thing. Yeah. It's a nice little guy that gets it all done, so it's good for carbon and whatnot. So that's what I CNC all of like the end plates and wing uprights on. It's the smallest little guy I've ever made. So I'm wondering FK are because this is gonna yeah. be very petite. Short stroke. Yeah. Short, short stroke, I like that. I got lucky. You got really lucky actually. Meanwhile, they're just having fun <laughs> over here. I'm getting bullied. He always gets bullied. A bunch of bullies over here. Yeah. Did you get a, did you get a close up on my face with the black mark? Yeah. <laughs> That's from Jose. Yeah, he wants to be a football player. <laughs> it's a nice flirtatious relationship you guys have. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you posted. I can't send it to you either. <laughs> Wait, so we got a brand new engine in here? Yeah. What kind of engine is this? It's an HPD motor, bro. How does that happen? Uh, we just wanted to refresh the motor. So the motor was still fine, even mm. though you called it blown before. Yeah. But it wasn't blown. Are you sure? Impossible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Impossible. Actually, yeah, as I said, stock motor, same thing. HPD motors is pretty much a brand new OEM motor. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is That's why you guys went to HPD that day. So, yeah. I mean, it made like, it actually made like two lifts less horsepower than before. Oh. Yeah. It, it made a little more torque. Okay. So, um, however, last motor was. Oh shit, we had already changed the head gasket, so maybe that mill will give that a little extra compression, who knows. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and we're still making 500, so. Just 500 on the dot? 500 on the dot, uh, on the dyno hub, so. It's a hub dyno, so. Yeah. Trying to roll over like 450, 460. Feels good, car's lighter, so it feels much better. Yeah. So, we'll see. so a lot of readjusting and getting used to everything again? I, feel, I mean, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, definitely going to be a lot of adjustment like in the driving. Yeah. But it's going to be feel so much better that it's going to be like a good adjustment, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, like the thing about this car is they're so heavy. Well, actually, they're not. Well, they're so heavy mm -hmm. compared to an older Honda. Right? I mean, have you weighed the car now that you took all the weight out of it? I have. Yeah. yeah. It's about 2650. Oh, shit. Okay. So about six. 500 pounds lighter than stock, almost 600 pounds lighter than stock. Yeah, hell yeah. So it's a lot lighter. Nice. Yeah. So, I'm pretty excited. And we upgraded the brakes, which mm -hmm. is a big thing. You know, the OEM brakes are, they're, they're Brembo's, but they're not like, no competition Brembo's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, lighter, more grip. Now we're on a 315, mm -hmm. a lot more tire. Uh, yeah, we're finishing the wing now. The mirror's on it, so. Okay, this wire, this wire is going to be this long, and I'm going to shove it into this hole. Oh, this fab work. Like that. Um, give me a little more slack. Let's leave it. Let's do that. How's that? Would it work if the magnet could get into that? Yeah, it's okay. That's the length of that. Call it a day. Got one nut. Oh, this is the proper nut. And <laughs> wait, hold on. Hmm. La <laughs> batteria. Yeah, alternate. Oh no, no. Uh, starter first. Some e expert wiring going on here. Hey man, we've been doing some pretty cool stuff today. <laughs> pretty cool stuff. This right here. It's like a and both sides like $85 for this connector. Mm. Some racing things. That is carbon plate in this Mtron KVA ECU. Mm. We'll be running all sorts of cool strategies and things. Strategies? Advanced tuning strategies with T maps and traction controls and high tech stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the things beyond normal comprehension. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
Good morning everyone. Today is a Saturday morning of a super lap battle. It's actually already happening. As you can see, we are not there. <laughs> we are at SP Engineering because Amir is getting his NSX tuned. Hopefully we'll try to get out there by tomorrow morning. Or actually they're going tonight if all goes well, fingers crossed. We're gonna get the car tuned, make some good power, everything works, and then cross our fingers. Yeah, cross our fingers and get the car out there tonight and then get a few laps in tomorrow and hopefully it's fast. Or actually, it will be fast. We're speaking things into existence now. <laughs> but yeah, everything seems to be going well. Just a few hours behind, but you know, this is what happens when you're trying to build a, a car all over again. It's a lot of new stuff on this car now. We're gonna see how much power it makes, make some cool sounds, blow out your speakers. It should be fun.
So it's Sunday night, 7 p.m. Didn't get a chance to make it to Super Lap this year. Still tuning. I got my earplugs in, so I can't hear anything right now. But car's running better. Shooting some sick flames, making some good power. Hopefully we'll be able to get everything dialed in. Didn't make it to Super Lap, but it's okay. We just want to get the car dialed in for next season. So yeah, I can't hear. Monday, finally getting some power pulls in. The car's running extremely well. It's like a extremely clean power pulls. So, sounds really epic. Shooting out some sick flames, which you guys will love. Uh, but overall, the car is just running amazing. Christian is doing a fantastic job. And uh, right now, the, the car got so spicy that the fuel pressure gauge blew out and fuel just kind of you know, sprayed everywhere. I don't know if I caught it on camera. I don't know if that's necessary to show anyways, but just know that the car is making good power now. We have another fuel gauge. We're going to fix it and then try to get some more pulls in. Hopefully we didn't lose too much fuel, but things are looking good. It's, uh, it's Monday morning and it's been a long road. These guys haven't slept in like three days, but the car is running amazing. So. Didn't make it to Super Lap, didn't get to compete, didn't get to get on the track, but this looks better for the future because we get the car running right, everything sounds, operates, functions, and is safe. And in the long run, we won't have to do this again. So hopefully no major changes have to come after this and we get a good tune in, make some good power, and it'll be a successful two weeks for these guys and a successful week for me, just hovering around and documenting all this bullshit. So these guys right here, man, the animals, no sleep, trying to pound out this car, try to get it for Coda, get it ready for the rest of the events next year. So looking good.
is 5.30 a.m. It's about time for me to go home because I'm going to hit morning traffic now. Um, sun's not going to come out yet, but I think it's time for me to go get some sleep. I'm going to let these guys do their thing. They're taking a break right now, letting the car cool down just because it's a bit of an oil leak. Nothing major, just coming from the pan. But they're going to add some oil after the car cools down. And then Christian wants to do a couple more pulls just because he's pretty confident in how the car's running right now and everything's going so smoothly. It's just, uh, I think I'm going to call it for, for myself. Um, last I checked, the car made around 576, I think. It's a nice, consistent power. Everything sounds great. Everything's running good right now. I think they're really happy with how the car is now. Even Amir himself said that he's never heard the car sound like this or pull like this. So I think he's pretty stoked about it. And, and that's super important because he's the one that's going to drive it. I think the guys did a great job. I think they're, they've been amazing. It's been a long week for them. And I hope that they can get some rest after this. Myself, I'm okay because I'm used to these hours. But these guys have been uh, putting themselves through some wear and tear and it's paid off. I think all the time and effort that they put into it, despite not making super lap, it actually worked out for the best that they didn't make it just because they needed to get the car dialed in and it's there now. So better for, better for the future and better for the car itself better for Amir and better for the team. So that's a wrap for me. I'm gonna go drive home, get some sleep, wake up and start my day again. Hope you guys enjoyed all this crazy content. Sorry if your speakers are blown out. Good night and see you guys.